Grammy Debates with Watson is a new digital fan experience powered by IBM Watson's natural language processing capabilities and cloud technologies. So with me to explain a little bit more about how all this works and how this is going to be incorporated into the Grammys is Christy Kolsky, the program director for IBM Sports and Entertainment. Welcome, Christy. Thank you very much. Happy to be yeah. here. So um, I guess just give me an overall look at how this is going to work exactly. Yeah, we're really, really excited about this new solution that we call Grammy Debates with Watson. Uh, like many sports and entertainment events this year, uh, the Recording Academy was looking for new ways to engage fans and engage them digitally. And so we had some design thinking workshops and came up with the solution called Grammy Debates. Uh, it uses uh, Watson's AI and natural language processing capability hosted on the IBM cl cloud to actually uh, deliver debates around some of today's hottest music topics. Mm -hmm. Things like uh, who's the most groundbreaking artist of all time or the biggest style icon. March is a music education month. So another question is around music education being mandatory and schools. And of course, a lot of things have changed in the last year and there's been quite a few virtual concerts. So we've asked fans to weigh in on what they think about uh, being able to engage in concerts from home versus the live experience. So we think it's gonna be a fun and new way for the Recording Academy to add it to their digital uh, fan experience and bring new fans and have them join a dialogue around some of these debates. Yeah, I've been to some of those virtual concerts. Like they're kind of a cool thing. I mean, it's nice to have the option if you can't make it somewhere. I mean, I see this as like a permanent thing. Like I think there's always gonna be a digital component to the way things used to be. We agree. I mean, sometimes it's nice to get up close and personal in a way that you can't necessarily in an arena if you've, particularly if you're in the nosebleed seats, right? So, um, or the ability to travel, um, not, you can't necessarily always follow your favorite artists or get to the city where they're performing. So I agree. And I think like many industries, the music industry is going to evolve and you're going to see uh, some of these things that came around the last year actually stick around even when things uh, start to return a little bit to normal. So this is on Grammy.com, right? So it's, it's not on the TV program, it's on the website. And then how does somebody engage in this technology from there? Yes, it's at Grammy.com slash Watson. It's a unique digital experience that you can engage in on Grammy.com today. Uh, and it'll, it'll run through the award show uh, and we'll actually post results the day after uh, so that even when fans are gathering around the virtual water cooler to talk about the results of the show, we can also weigh in on some of the results of the debates. Uh, and the way fans can engage, uh, if you go into the experience, there's four different debates. Uh, they can actually then uh, add an, a pro or con argument for each of the debates. And then Watson's AI is actually going to uh, understand the intent. They synthesize that content mm -hmm. uh, into pro and con narratives. And if you think about you know, debate, this is, you know, debate has happened for forever and music debates happen forever and they're all over social but it's a lot of noise and not a lot of insight. And so what we think is kind of unique about this is fans are actually gonna see how the you know, biggest Grammy fans actually weigh in on these debates. Is it, you know, sure there's a pro or con argument or a con argument, but when you look at it collectively, what do fans think on some of these topics and how are they gonna weigh in? All right, very cool technology and, and the use of it and, and application. So thank you so much, Christy, for joining and explaining that. and. Look forward to talking to you again about the next IBM project. Thank you.